Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be sharing some of my favorite salad recipes that I make all the time. These are more like a full balanced meal in a bowl with lots of nutrient dense veggies, healthy fats and protein. And not only are they really nutritious, but they also taste amazing. So here are some recipes to make absolutely bomb salads that you'll actually wanna eat. Before we get started, let's head out to the garden and harvest some kale and lettuce for my recipes. I had no idea I had some dill hiding in here and I absolutely love dill so let's pick some. I don't have parsley but I do have cilantro so we're gonna use some. So I got our gorgeous leafy greens for our first salad. I'm gonna make a Mediterranean lentil salad. I make this recipe all the time. It's one of my favorites. I just love Mediterranean food and flavors. I swear I could eat it all the time and never get sick of it. So that's our theme for this first recipe. I'm also known in my family for making really good salads and bringing them to our family cookouts and barbecues. So all these recipes are perfect for summer and you can bring them to your family cookouts too. And for the kale, I like to shred it up really, really thin, which makes it easier to chew. Just beautiful. Unfortunately, my tomatoes and cucumbers aren't ready yet for my garden, so I bought these from Trader Joe's. And same thing with the onion. I'm gonna try and dice it up all nice and uniform. So normally I meal prep my lentils so that I can use them in lots of different salads throughout the week, but I'm going the lazy route today. I just picked these up at Trader Joe's. You can just make this a cold salad, but I love when there's like some warm pieces in the salad. So I'm gonna microwave these to heat them up. Block of lentils. Let's warm up about a cup of lentils. For this first salad, I'm making a really simple tahini dressing. So I'm using two scoops of tahini, the juice of half a lemon, and one small clove of garlic, minced, and two tablespoons of water. Then whisk all those ingredients together and it'll get nice and rich and creamy. And you can add a pinch of salt to this to taste. Add some of your leafy greens to a large mixing bowl and then add some of the dressing in and really massage it into the kale. This is a trick I like to do to help it taste better. <laughs> then add the rest of our toppings. I'm using one diced cucumber, two small diced tomatoes, a quarter cup of diced red onion, and the cup of lentils that we warmed up. These are some garlic olives that I got from the farmer's market. They are absolutely amazing. I am an olive queen and a garlic queen. I'm also gonna add some of this dairy-free goat cheese. Break it up a little bit, it's very soft. And we can't forget our fresh herbs. Fresh herbs just take your salad to the next level. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. Then we can drizzle it off with some more dressing. Just gorgeous. Here is our absolutely gorgeous Mediterranean lentil salad. Let's toss this all together. Oh my God, it's so creamy. It smells amazing. I love how everything is so finely chopped and it's so creamy with the tahini dressing. Mmm. And the fresh dill is a must. This is seriously my favorite flavors. And you could totally double or triple this recipe to bring it to a party this summer. So good. Okay, I'm gonna go enjoy this Mediterranean chopped lentil salad. Let's hop into recipe number two. Next up, I'm making a barbecue ranch salad with oven baked barbecue tofu crumbles. This salad came out so amazing. I can't wait to share the recipe with you. First, I'm preheating the oven to start making the barbecue tofu crumbles. For my barbecue tofu crumbles, I have frozen and defrosted tofu that you're gonna squeeze the extra water out of. 
and this is what it looks like it's super spongy and the texture changes to be more like chewy and it absorbs flavors super well this way so next I'm just crumbling it up to make this recipe super easy I'm gonna be using store-bought barbecue sauce these are my two favorite brands that don't have any sugar added this one's called true made foods and this one's called noble made and I'm gonna coat the tofu with my barbecue sauce so spread out the tofu crumbles on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and then you're going to bake these at 400 degrees for 20 minutes and then shut the oven off and just let them rest in there for another 10-ish minutes. And this is how the barbecue tofu crumbles come out. If you let them rest in the oven another 10 minutes, they get extra chewy and the flavor gets even more concentrated. For the rest of the salad, I'm using the fresh green leaf lettuce from our garden and I chopped that up really small along with some sliced mini bell peppers, shredded carrots, sweet corn. This was frozen and I just defrosted it, super easy. Then add in the barbecue tofu crumbles along with some thin diced onion and I tried to use some avocado but oh, oh, yeah. I had like good. five avocados that were bad. That was so unfortunate. And then I added in some toasted pumpkin seeds and some cherry tomatoes on top. For my dairy-free ranch dressing, I'm using 3 fourths cup of cashews and a quarter cup of hemp seeds soaked in boiling water. But you could just use all cashews and honestly the texture comes out a little bit more creamy. Two pitted dates, one clove of garlic, three tablespoons of white wine vinegar, half of a tablespoon of liquid aminos or coconut aminos, and one cup of soy milk. Blend that up till smooth. Then I added in two tablespoons of fresh dill, and I like to add in some Trader Joe's onion salt because it has big chunks of onion and green onion. So I like to mix those in afterwards so it doesn't get blended up. So here's our beautiful barbecue ranch salad. This looks so good. The one thing it's missing is some fresh avocado. What a bummer. Let's try it. Oh my god. So good. Mm. This is my favorite. Oh, pink white. Barbecue plus the ranch flavors are so good together. It's like salty and sweet. The birds are going crazy outside. This is definitely one to make. Especially, you have to try my ranch dressing. I think it's the, my favorite one I've ever made. Mm. All right, let's hop into the next recipe. Next, I'm making this Napa cabbage peanut crunch salad with baked tofu on top, and this was also absolutely bomb. You guys gotta try this. For my last salad recipe, let's head back into the garden and pick out some more ingredients that we need. For the baked tofu, I'm chopping up an extra firm block of tofu into small cubes. And I'm seasoning it with some coconut aminos, a light sprinkle of garlic powder, and some chickpea flour. And I'm keeping this really simple because it's gonna mix in with the dressing that I'm gonna make. Spread that out on a baking sheet and bake for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Then once it's done, shut the oven off, but then keep it in the oven for another five-ish minutes. For my leafy greens for this salad, I'm using about a half of a Napa cabbage and just shredding that up really thin. And I also added in some green leaf lettuce with this as well. Add the shredded greens to a mixing bowl along with some shredded carrots, about a cup of shelled edamame. I just used frozen and then I defrost it in the microwave. About a cup of cooked quinoa. And then this is how the baked tofu comes out. As you can see, it's nice and crispy around the edges. It looks super good and it's gonna be a nice addition to our salad. 
So go ahead and add in the baked tofu. And I also added in some dry roasted peanuts. These are actually chili spice peanuts. They're super good. Top it off with our fresh herbs. I'm using some fresh cilantro and green onion. And here's how our salad is looking. It looks so good. Next, let's make up the peanut dressing. For the dressing, I'm using two pitted dates, one clove of garlic, about a thumb-sized piece of fresh ginger, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar or rice vinegar, half a tablespoon of liquid aminos or soy sauce, three tablespoons of peanut butter, and a quarter cup of water. I used too much here and it's gonna be too runny, so only use a quarter cup. All right, so I accidentally made this too watery, so we're just gonna add some peanut butter powder. I actually love this stuff because it's mostly just peanut butter protein, so it adds protein to whatever recipe you're making. If you would just do a quarter cup of water, it would have been a better consistency. Let's add our delicious peanut butter ginger dressing. Oh my God, this looks amazing. This is gonna be so good. You gotta dig right on in. Mmm. Oh my god. This is better than anyone I've had in a restaurant. Another 10 out of 10. So here's our last salad, my Napa cabbage crunch salad. This one is so delicious and all the flavors go so well together. And I like that this one is higher protein as well with the tofu and the edamame, which are both high in protein. It tastes like healthy takeout. Mm. I just love the Napa cabbage in this because it's softer than regular cabbage and it has little like nooks in it to grab onto the dressing. It's so amazing. And if you can find the chili spiced peanuts, those are really good. They add a little kick in there and it's amazing. Well, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me for this recipe video. Make sure you like and subscribe before you go, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!